Hello, everyone. I'm Dan. And I'm Austin. We are here to play games. Like puppets on a string. With many lies. Yes. Look how long the nose is. That's right. All right. Welcome back to Lies of P, everybody. Um, in our last episode, generic statements. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've been exploring the central station. Mm -hmm. We had to fight off um, that weird scorpion creature. We also fought the bog monster, I think. I think that was last episode. That's correct, yeah. yeah um, we, which we was just a horrifying entity. Yeah, it was it was definitely a problem. Uh, we did get a this sweet ass katana out of it, though. That's true, we did. <laughs> um, and then, so we explored the Karat Central Station for a little bit. We found Atkinson, which is Bell's partner slash lover. Yep. As they like entered the city or whatever, and he had been transformed into a monster. Yeah. However. We shared our compassion and told Bell that he uh, died in action fighting a puppet mm -hmm. so that she could have closure. Yep. So we lied yeah. again. We sure did. And we played the piano. I was not prepared for P to play the piano. That was interesting. Yeah, that was really cool. I really liked that. Yeah, I agree. Ugh. Now we're back at this uh, central station <laughs> plot. Yes, yes, we are. If this is your first time here with us, welcome. Uh, we hope to we hope to give you a, a entertainment across the board, but we have a good time regardless. Uh -huh. And if you want to see this entire game from episode one, check the top right corner. We'll have a, a card for the playlist so that you can start the antics fresh or. Stick around and find out if this is something that suits you. We'll find you know. We'll chit chat about just about anything. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, we are. I'm having a blast playing this game, even though I complain about random things sometimes. That's just part of the Souls <laughs> experience. It's um, true. But yeah, this, is, this has been a great game. Uh, this has been brilliant. Oh, one other thing we encountered, I think that's of importance, is that we ended up back on the train that we started off the game in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And behind the chair that we woke up in was like a little workshop, Japan's yeah. workshop, and a letter was left behind there, signed SM, which I can only assume is Simon Manus. Yeah. Manus. I think it's Manus. So... Yeah. Um, and while I remember those things, I don't remember exactly where we're headed at this point, so... Yeah, neither do I, honestly. It's going to take us a second to get our bearings here. Yeah, we're going to have to orient a little bit. Um, but yeah, it made me wonder if, if you knew to do it, if you could go behind where you start. I don't think so. I think maybe the... Oh yeah, this is where he was. Yeah. I guess he is a die without safety briefing. Yeah, he... Um, he didn't make it. He did not. So what she what we told Bell was true from a certain point of view. Oh my gosh. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh Oh wait, there's these idiots. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh he, yeah, these guys. Oh, these no. Ankle biters. From afar. <laughs> Long range ankle biters. Yeah. Ugh, all right, so awful. all right, all right. Oh, I can't even. Dude, <laughs> dude, come on. No, no. Uh... <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. All right. Jerks. <laughs> did you, um, did you ever get the Master Chef's knife? I don't remember. A master chef's knife? Yeah. I don't think so. Okay, so that's probably what we're doing right now, then. Go blah, 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 blah. No, we're getting killed, is what we're doing right now. Well, it does say that there's a huge puppet ambush waiting for you, so maybe this is the correct way. <laughs> yeah. 
this one's fast enough to deal with them. Yeah, so there yeah. was a treasure here. Can't go that way. I want to crawl under it. Okay. So... Yeah, I don't know. This looks like... Maybe there's another uh, passage down the stairs here? You're a passage. You mean... Uh, like a doorway? Oh, right here to your left. As you're going... You know, there was a collapse, but why did they have to cut off communication? Please let us out. This door? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, we haven't gone this way yet. Okay. Or maybe we did, and I don't remember. Oh, no. There's an item. I would have picked that up. <laughs> Hold on. Go ah! Oh. Listen here, you. Rude, rude man. Full? Okay, so <laughs> we got stairs. Got this room. Ooh. Hello. Who are you? That looks fair. Uh, yeah, go. Maybe go up the stairs. Ominous. Yeah, we'll go up here. I hear problems. Thank you. Got any more? There should be a chest around here somewhere. Ow. Don't mind me, just getting thrown for ten minutes. Excuse cool. me, sir. What's your shenanigans? Yep. Yeah, maybe it's up here. There's an item. Hold on. Okay, those must be destroyed. Get this. Ergo fragment. Not seeing a chest. Uh -huh. Head down the stairs, a huge puppet ambush waiting for you. Open chest, pick up Master Chef's knife. I can only assume you picked it up then. Is it this way? Is well, it was to take the shortcut and then go down the steps, which is what you did. Oh, maybe I did. Is it a key item? Let's look. It it might be. It doesn't seem like it's a weapon, but maybe it. I don't, I don't know. Collectible. I don't rightly remember. Not in here. Wait, 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 wait. No. What's the cleaver there? Why up it? Huh? Up the here? Cleaver? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Right, I remember that now. Okay. Because like I Okay, yeah. then yes, we are this is the right direction. Um Okay. This one's not a friendly stalker. Doesn't look like it. You lost, little lamb. Hand over all you got. Alright. Really? Wow, that started fast. Robber Weasel. Since a new mask incoming. Yep. I would say that's a safe bet. <laughs> oh. That's the wrong way. Where are you going? <laughs> Welcome to the city of the future. And the future is death. Hey, Interesting. Okay, then. Oh, she bowed. <laughs> How dignified. Uh, I I feel like you're playing as an actual person. Mm-hmm. It's got that invader energy from Dark Souls. Yeah, I feel that way, too. <laughs> Is that why you're quietly... He's, do I sound happy to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, uh... No, that's, that's actually... It's really well programmed, I think. But yes, I am quietly seething with rage. <laughs> uh, you but, know, um, yeah. that being said, like, all of the human, the same humans we fought have all had unique fighting styles. They have. And I find that interesting. It's pretty and cool. I, I appreciate the attention to detail. Hand over all you got. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that that move is a lot faster than I think it looks like it would be. You ought to give to the lead. Ooh, it does a lot of damage too. Good gracious! Oh. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm just gonna say. 
and I'm gonna leave it alone from here. That overhead chop had no wind up whatsoever. <laughs> and we're gonna move on. <laughs> hey damn, how do you feel about getting heel caught? How do I feel about input read into a heel catch that will kill me? Um, I feel great about it. I great. Mm -hmm. I thought you might. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> kill this guy again. Come on. Get out of here. Okay, okay. You lost, little lamb. Please. Hand over all you got. Interesting. Ow. She's throwing stuff at you. Oh. Good grief. That overhead has a little bit of wind up. A tiny bit. Yeah, that wasn't the unblockable or the perfect guard only. Oh, really? Oh, oh, oh. I got dicey. This was, this was tough, man. Hmm. Quit throwing stuff. <laughs> God. God. That's so sagger. scrappy. <laughs> it is. Oh. That is stupid. Oh, that move. All right, come on. I don't know. What I know the katana is fast, but I wonder, like, sure, yeah, try the other one. Well, I don't. I don't know if other weapons have like a better defense, or maybe if the range of like this weapon might help. You know, an idea actually. Oh yes, get her. That was a good idea. Oh, that was so good. Well, you try to kind of like fish the. The attack. Yeah. Mm. Too slow. Oh, good job. Yeah, that, that guard with the katana is interesting. Yeah, it is. Mm. Oh, almost. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's so good. That's exceptional. Oh, come on. Oh, you're almost there. Oh. Oh. Don't get greedy. Ooh. There it get is. Get out of here. Get, her. oh. get out of here. Little weasel. That's not so wrong. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Yep, so you get the hunting apparel and the mask. Oh, that one's kind of cool. It's like a cleaner version of what you've been wearing. Yeah. Let's look at this mask. That's messed up looking. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, as far as masks go, that's my favorite one so far. Yeah. Or that that's one. That's not surprising. Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> that one's funny for different reasons. Yeah. Use antlers. Do I do reindeer or a Santa hat? Yeah. Yeah, we could. It's not that time of the year yet. Be honorable. Hmm. All right. That's a cool coat. All right. Now we just got to continue on to the next stargazer. Yes, indeed. So, question for the viewers and for you: Do you think, as a rule, that everybody lies? Okay, so <laughs> this is probably my tism showing, but like, um, for clarity, when you say every as a rule everybody lies, are you saying that they are lying constantly? No. Or that just people lie in general? Yes. Okay. Um, 
I I would say you would be very hard pressed to find someone who hasn't lied at least once in their life. Right. Um, because people lie all the time to spare feelings, even if the lie is a lie of omission, right? Where it's just mm-hmm. choosing not to say something. Right. A white lie. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I would say in general that would be be true. I'm sure there are some people who can't conceive of that notion. They're they're too like. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like locked into that mindset. Rigid, too rigid to let it, to, to allow themselves to do that. But. Sure. Yeah. Um. To expand on it a little bit, because I purposely left it a little vague. Um. As a matter of course, everybody will tell lies. Basically, when it suits them based on their objectives um you know and that on some level society functions based on the fact that people lie yeah i mean there it is yeah i i on a, on a base level i would say yeah i don't i don't know how you could not just with the way people operate yep um i think context is very important mm-hmm. when it comes to the lie. Yeah. Like the the reason behind it. Right? Mm-hmm. And I don't know, because like you could define even even tricking somebody into going to a birthday surprise party as a lie. Mm-hmm. So what's the intention? Is the intention to harm or is it to protect or to you know create a, a more enjoyable environment at a later date like what's the purpose behind it I think is really important mm-hmm. or is a level of um, not self indulgence but self interest interesting yeah yeah I, th- I think people will the, the, the most selfish encounters of lies I have had like I've encountered uh, and, and at, at its core I think and especially with my kids you see it a little more often not my kids specifically but kids in general and my kids are guilty of this mm-hmm. um, it's the preservation right self preservation lies sure yeah at the hey did you do that thing I asked you to and they didn't and I know that they didn't, and they know that they didn't. Yes. <laughs> but they said that they did. Yeah. Or or they'll come up with some other lie like, oh, I forgot, or I wasn't paying attention. I never heard you say that when, like, how could you not have? I was looking right at you. You nodded at me in acknowledgement. I made sure that you understood what I was telling you about this, you know. Yeah, I can think of times when I was a kid when I did nonsense like that. <laughs> Just kind right. of happens, I mean, it, yeah. It's, it's pretty harmless. Like, I don't, I don't get mad at them for that. As long as they're honest with me moving forward, right? Like, it's like, hey, yeah, let's not do that again. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's be better. We'll move on. No harm, no foul. Indeed. Oh. Indeed. But when you start getting into, like, intentionally manipulating other people mm-hmm. in the form of, like, gaslighting or... Uh, any other forms usually found within toxic relationships, especially with narcissistic people. Mm-hmm. You know, th- those aren't good yeah. lies to be around. And you need to be wary of them. Yeah. So it, it's sort of been on my mind a little bit with playing this game because lying is a base mechanic of the way the story goes in this game. And, yeah. you know, everybody lies. Those of you that know the show I'm talking about. It's one of my favorite shows, uh, House MD. Oh, let's read this real quick. Crot Grand Exhibition 18XX. Witness the greatest show on Earth. Experience the future of the world. Yeah! Um, but that's a base... Uh, it's like a basic truth of the human experience, according to uh, Dr. House on that show. And so, you know, some of the lies we have been telling in this game are... Things that could be of benefit, depending on your perspective, 
right? Ooh, Central Plaza. Plaza. Okay, let's look at this room first. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, right? Mm. Aw. Oh. Weird, isn't it? Ooh, Trinity. We need a key. All right. Only one way to go. Wait, wait, wait. No, there's no. We room. didn't come to this the plaza before from this direction, I guess. But that looks, yeah, like the opening area. Right. It does look like the opening area. Ah, wow, I'm weird. I'm isn't genuinely it? impressed with the way they've handled that. That's really interesting. Yep. This is a very impressive game uh, on a technical level and on a level of world design. Um, I feel the care that the developers put into this game, the creators of it, um, and I really appreciate it. Like, I'll, you know, I'll complain about attack animations and stuff, but this game is awesome. This is a really, really well made. Obviously, a um, a passion project of sort. I can tell there's some care been put into construction in this game, and I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, I. It's clearly more dangerous. I'm sorry, I'm just... The way we've come full circle, and it's been so seamless, right? Like, there's been no point where... We have the Dark Souls 2 problem, right? Where you take an elevator up, and suddenly you're underneath the mountain. <laughs> in, in a lava field. You go up um, through the lava that should be falling out of the sky and destroying <laughs> everything. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um... I did see like, a, a map, for what it's worth, explaining how that could possibly happen without... The architecture of the world entirely falling apart. But. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there are ways. They're just... Um, it's still a little strange. Oh, yeah, it is. There you go. Hmm. Dr. House. Man, I haven't thought about that show in a while. Yeah. Yeah, and there is so much to um, that show because there's a lot of... There are a lot of shows where it's, oh, yes, this person is a genius. Also, they're an asshole. Um, did that just come out of him? I don't think so. Okay. It was weird. I think it was just behind him, so it looked like it kind of... That's a big hitting guy. Yeah. House is a really good example of somebody who lies constantly, but not all his lies are actually negative, per se. Right. Well, and even when he says things where you're just like, come on, dude, you know, like, he's just being very, quote-unquote, toxic, he's deconstructing social norms most of the time. Right. Um, he still could be more tactful about it, but... <laughs> well, he could be more tactful, and he has pretty severe issues as far as yeah. not just delivery, but the reasoning behind like there's a lot of philosophy he has that one could term it cynical um that's that's a fairly simplifying way of explaining the uh, philosophy of this character but it it functions pretty well like 90 percent of the time at least uh because right every once in a while you're like wait a minute he's actually not being cynical right now what you know yeah it's it's a hard place to be <laughs> Apparently, this is the house episode. Yeah. It's a hard place to be because, like, in the in that show, I I struggle with my perception of house because mm -hmm. it changes a lot. Because there's an element of like, despite his clear um, lashing out from being in pain constantly, both physical and emotional pain. Um there's still an element of care. Mm-hmm. And, and while, yes, he, he does most of his medical stuff because he likes the challenge, there you do see these small windows of moments where he is genuinely just trying to help somebody. Yeah. Even if he's doing it in, the like, the worst way possible. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I have this weird relationship with that show in general because I would never want to be him. Hmm. Like, he's a smart guy, and his skills are incredible. Mm -hmm. But I would never want to have the problems with relationships 
and the anger he feels constantly in my life. Well, that's that's an aspect of his character that's often overlooked on, like, you know, uh, asshole genius characters, is he doesn't want to be him. Well, oh, that's true. Like, yeah, that's true. That's why there's that brief window where he is, what, like, after the surgery, right? There are he's, a few, but yeah. Yeah, but, like, he gets, there's, there's a point where after the surgery... He's a happier man, he seems better overall, and then there's also, uh, when he finally, like, uh, cleanses himself of the Vicodin addiction mm -hmm. for a little bit, and he was genuinely happier with who he was as a person. It's just he falls back into old habits. Right. Which, again, is very human. Like, I props to the writers for creating a character who is very believable. But yeah, it's very interesting because the lies we've told in this game um, are often pretty beneficial. Uh, the one we told to Bell is the one that brought brought it to top of line for me. Uh, yeah. You know, what is the difference? Well, the difference is she is much more at peace. The same exact thing happened. We didn't know that he was dead at the point that we told her. So we could have explained the current status. What do we got here? Coil Mjolnir. Okay, that, that's too interesting sounding. Let's check this thing out. Big ol' hammer. Look at that. <laughs> Are you worthy? Crunch! Fortunately... You put on a short handle and then you could have an actual Mjolnir. Fortunately, I am mighty. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> What do we got as far as abilities go? Ah! Thunder Strike. I mean, we'll deal electric blitz damage. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you could use, like, a much shorter handle if you wanted to, and, uh... Yeah. Yeah. That'd be interesting, just to have that as a combo. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try that out at some point and see if I could make it look like, you know, the MCU Mjolnir. <laughs> there you go. Well, as close as you can get, at least. Yeah, indeed. All right. Let's see. I think we gotta. We're go just gonna way. continue onward until we try to until we see a carcass trying to enter a building. Hmm. Hmm. Who needs benches anyway? Or boxes? Right. Well, there he is. That looks like what you were talking about. Yeah, he probably won't stay small. That's not good. If I had to guess. What the. What is going on here? Well, maybe these aren't the ones. Who knows? Let's oh. find out. Hey, creepy guys. Oh. These aren't the ones. These aren't the carcasses you're looking for. Nope. Uh, when you get to the carcass you're looking for... That's him. You'll get a legion plug out of it. Okay. Let's top up here. Oh, that's one of those dudes. Yeah. Not overly enthused about having to fight him. Let's see. Yeah, they suck. He's mad. Mm -hmm. Let me in! Damn it! Not by the hairs of our chinny chin chin! What? I didn't understand that hit at all. Oh! Well, that's different. Interesting. Ah, oh, a little too fast. Oh, I blocked oh, that. Geez. Come on now. All right. Ah. Oh. All right. Since we're since you're dealing with this fight, I will hold off on my question. But I do have a question regarding how specifically. Oh sure. But I'll wait till you're done with this <laughs> so you can focus. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Oh. oh my gosh. Close. Brutal. 
Yeah. Okay. There it is. What's your question? Okay, so, um... Two-fold question, I guess. What is, like, your overall impression of House, right? And, like... Sure. His relationship with people... Mm. Like, how much... I Since we've been talking about personas a lot, like, how much of it is a persona? How much of it is genuine? Like, how he's represented in the show. Okay, so... Okay. That's a bracketed question that can go as deep or shallow as you want to go. But I think it'd be interesting to take hear your input because you tend to analyze uh, a little more critically yeah. shows than I do. Yeah, so he, He's one of my favorite characters. Uh, <clears throat> so, let's see. It's a twofold question, really. General impression yeah. as well as how much of it is genuine. Um, right. Both very legitimate questions about Greg House. Um, I think that... Very Get out of here. He is probably best described as either broken or tormented in some way. Hmm. Um, part of that is just kind of the situations he was written for. You could see a lot of it in the earlier seasons where he is just having a real tough time of any situation that could result in his happiness. Um... And a lot of the reason is because, um, actually, I think back to a couple of key scenes uh, with House. So, spoilers, we haven't seen the show, but it's going to be pretty minor. Um, there are two scenes. Oh, hang on. Let me read this. Welcome to the city of Krat, in honor of Valentinus, who erected the cornerstone of origin. Um, I don't think that had fallen over when we visited last time. Yeah, indeed. This place is kind of falling apart, but it's, yeah. Very much the same. Um, <clears throat> so, I think back to when he was explaining exactly what happened to his leg. So, if you have no idea who House is, uh, what the show is, anything. He's a medical doctor. He is a diagnostic medicine specialist uh, with a dual specialty in, I believe, infectious diseases and nephrology. Um, so... And a lot, uh, and diagnostic medicine is about essentially analyzing mysterious and very difficult to diagnose diseases. So it's not just standard medical work. It is this person cannot figure out what they have, and usually it's about to kill them or yeah. is lethal in some way if they don't resolve it. Yeah, it's very, very unique medical situations that they're dealing with. Right. So, House walks with a cane, and he walks with a cane because he had an infarction in his leg. You learn this in the first episode. An infarction is a clot, um, and it essentially caused muscle death in his leg. It's very dangerous because things can get flushed back into your system. Uh, it nearly killed him because he did not accept an amputation. Um, and they ended up removing part of his leg muscle and it's left him in near permanent pain for the rest of his life. As a result, he uses Vicodin, um, which is a very powerful painkiller. Um, and most people are of the opinion that he is addicted to it. I believe he knows he's addicted to it on some level. Um, it'd be hard to argue otherwise, even though he will argue it often. Um, Which is a standard addict response, right? Yeah. And that's one of the interesting things is he has the addiction profile, but he's far too intelligent to not know he's BSing. Um, he's fully aware, but he is going to do what's necessary. His defense is always, I'm in pain. There we go. Oh, damn it. So, the the situation where he lost his leg there is a point where he has to teach some medical students and he's explaining it and he's not explaining that one of the people with a leg injury is him but his team is aware because they know enough about what happened to him they're like oh this is this is him okay so 
it's not exactly clear, but he had an NDE, or a near-death experience. Um, and it may have had to do with other patients at the hospital, um, at the time when the story is being told. Um, it has to do with those, but that may be for the purposes of the episode. He may not have been divulging what he saw. Um, and he explains, you know, like, as Wilson shows up, and Wilson is the Dr. Watson to houses Sherlock Holmes. Uh, he's his best friend. He's the best of him in a lot of ways. Um, you That's know, good he, Yeah, and he asks, do you believe those were real experiences? I mean, like, define real. Uh, they were real experiences, but what they mean is up to basically the person experiencing them to determine. And that's not how he says it. Um, what he says is it's just the brain shutting down. It's closing, closing shop entirely. And so a person will see white light. There's a legion plug. Oh, thank goodness. That, a, that guy was a beast. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> that was a pain in the ass fight. Um... <laughs> But anyway, I get you talking though, and you do a lot better because you're not focusing on what. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of flow with it. It's nice. I like it. Can we go in this you're building welcome. he was trying to bust into? Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Pop in here. Um, but yeah, uh, he has an NDE and explains that he believes that it is what happens when the brain shuts down, basically. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go grab a level real quick. Spend some of this. That's a good idea. Cargo. And get some fruit. Um, but, you know, it has no pra practical relevance to his life. Um, but he chooses the outcome he believes is more comforting. And Wilson is aghast. He's like, you, you find it more comforting that there's nothing after you die? He says he finds it more comforting that this is not simply a test. And essentially that what we do matters. And that's a philosophy that he explains multiple times. Everything oh. a person does matters. And that's why he sort of is how he is. That's one of the reasons, anyway. <laughs> there are other reasons. Um, but House is an outspoken atheist. Um, and there are people around him. Like, their religion comes up in many episodes. Um, and, you know, he doesn't have a problem with people using ritual to kind of handle the things in their lives. He just doesn't believe it, and he argues against what he perceives as irrationality. Um, so that's one aspect of him. Um, there is another aspect It's a little harder to describe, but it essentially boils down to what happened to him and his constant level of pain has made him a harder person. Um, the few times he gets relief from his pain, it's debatable, but he may become a worse doctor as a result. Um, gold fruit, I think, is what you're. Yeah, I'm going to get the gold to do. fruit. Yeah, I'm distracted by what I'm I, talking about. But yeah, let's go get right. This. I just didn't know if you were aiming because you couldn't remember what you were trying to yeah. do or not. So I thought I'd just remind you. Yeah. So um, there is a point where he is attempting to resolve a case. It's during a time when he is. Free of pain, he's actually running, uh, getting good exercise, and he believes he's resolved something. And the other two major doctors involved are like, there is no, there's not a shred of medical evidence you have for this. It's just an assertion, and he does that all the time. That's his bread and butter. He asserts things. He will go through a tenuous logical series of connections. Usually, he's deducing extremely well, but. You know, he says, this is what will happen. You, you inject them with this. They end up doing it and not telling him about it because they're afraid that he will become far too arrogant if he does that. He ends up finding out later through a complicated series of things and said they end up telling him. They're like, look, you did resolve this case. You didn't blow this case because he starts playing it safe because he assumes he's kind of losing his touch and he's also without pain. Hmm. He stops what he's doing that has relieved him of pain entirely because he's realizing he's screwing up and the pain is what is keeping him sharp. And when he finds out, 
you know, it's it's like, let me guess, you wanted me to be humbled and, you know, be more positive about people, because he's a big cynic. And, uh, you know, Wilson's explaining to him, he's like, I was afraid your wings would melt. Um, ah, you know, Sir Icarus. Yeah, and he's, um, he's like, I, I, there's a merchant yeah, in there. I'll talk to him here in a second. Um, he's like, I, I was afraid if you knew that you resolved a case without a shred of medical evidence, you'd think you were a god. And he says, God doesn't limp. And it's so poignant in that his pain defines him in a lot of ways. Mm. Um, okay, we'll read this too. But yeah, I mean, that's those two things are two of the aspects of this very multifaceted character. And he's got a very, very long arc uh, with regards oh, to yeah. the person he becomes in the end. And it is very interesting. I think he comes to a very good resolution as a character. Um, but I, I often compare him to BBC Sherlock in that Sherlock is considered to kind of have mind powers, sort of, in the show. Yeah. It, it's sort of hard to describe if you haven't seen it, but it's just very flashy and he's just all over the place. He collates all the data. He is better than everyone. Um, right. House is never portrayed that way. He is blindingly intelligent. But he has serious, serious problems as well, and so yeah, that's actually he's more an outstanding kin. character. Yeah, yeah, his his representation because, it, as you pointed out, House and Watson, right, are mm -hmm. uh, Wilson. Excuse me, Wilson. Yeah, is is the like medical and uh, equivalent to Sherlock Holmes? Yeah, as it was written by Sir Arthur. Uh, Conan Doyle. Right, exactly. Which, that Holmes, very similar. Lots and lots of problems. Very smart. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots and lots of problems. Yeah, drug issues, all sorts of issues. Like right. Holmes is a very flawed character, but he is yes. incredibly brilliant. Yep. Yep. All right, Fairy Tales of the Three Brothers of the Workshop Tower. The first part is torn off. Awesome. That's less than I have to read then. Perfect. Thus, there lived a crowd technician who made the friendly three puppet brothers, an alchemist who breathed life into puppets, and a stalker who rectified puppets gone wrong. The three brothers built a, the craftsman's workshop tower and made phenomenal puppets. The puppets seemed as if they were alive. The good ones helped the people of Krat and worked hard, danced, and sang songs. The people were extremely glad, and everyone was happy. They said it's all thanks to the three brothers. The three good brothers lived happily ever after. What a happy story. Yep. Hey, buddy. All right, so this merchant. I don't suppose you'd like to buy anything. Sure. Sorry. Still, I've been on my don't own know why so his long. mouth my and like cold face is wrapped rusty. up. Hard to engage in trade when you're fleeing from monsters. <laughs> Even if the abnormal has become normal, the living must live. Buy something, and you'll help both of us. <laughs> Excellent. Every merchant. He's got some. Good. I was going to say, he's got some unique items. I okay. think it's the same merchant. Yeah, okay, yeah. But yeah, he always has that wrapped up face. Okay. Ooh, a Legion Caliber. Mm -hmm. What are these? Do these, are these permanent? Should I be using these? Um, I have no idea if they're permanent or not. Get this military shovel. Yep. Uh, yeah, so Legion Caliber Military Shovel Blade, uh, the Lada Large Capacity Corrosion Resistance Converter, the Insulation Converter, and the uh, Radiation Converter are all notable mm -hmm. items here. I cannot buy all of them, I don't think. Not currently, anyway. That's sort of obnoxious. Alright, let's grab one of them at least. Let's see. Are these converter? Okay. Pretty good. Yeah, sure. Look with that one. Oh, that moved just slightly heavy. Have to get some more. Capacity. Can't have that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll uh, I'll come back and buy his other two here in a second. Yeah. But yeah. Everybody lies. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> um, so the other question I had, which was my original one, but then as we started talking, I was like, oh, I need to ask them this other one first, mm -hmm. actually. Is your 
perspective of his relationship with Wilson specifically. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, because like, there's definitely a lot of enablement on Wilson's side, mm -hmm. and and Cuddy's too, technically. But like, yeah, um, that's a little different. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nice, but Wilson especially has somehow just when you think the king sometimes. Yeah. Okay. House has somehow found Wilson, I guess is the right way to put that, and has chosen him as his <laughs> pet. <laughs> I, I don't know, like... Um, kind of, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, like, Wilson sticks around, but there are also several times, justifiably, where he's just like, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it really is going to depend on the season we're talking about, but, yeah, because they go through a lot together. Um... But yeah, I mean, I, I think I said it earlier, but Wilson is the best of, of House in a lot of ways. Um, he is ethical in a way that House isn't. Um, but House has his own set of ethics, is the thing. He's got his own set of values, and he is extremely... he. Oh, okay. He adheres to them radically, I would say. Whoa, this is Whoa. crazy looking. I was not prepared for that. Dude. Collapsing oh, crap. Again, well done, developers. Just phenomenal work. Yeah, this is crazy looking. Do, do you think Whoa. that Wilson, in some ways... This used to be the workshop's transportation Whoa. base, close yeah. to Krat's central station. Maybe that's why the puppets were so hell-bent on attacking the place during the frenzy. But I didn't see it myself. I, I didn't know the scale of it all. <laughs> so let's add that earthquake to our list of strange and bizarre happenings in Krat and... I'll keep moving. Sure, why not? <laughs> Um, on some subconscious level, do you think that House uses Wilson as a bit of a conscience? Yeah. Backboard, so to speak. Like, to your point, he has his own set of ethics, but maybe he, like, checks. Oh, careful with those, by the way. Yeah, disruption. Yeah. I think so. Oh, hang on. Let's read this real quick. To my beloved Gideon, the world is dying. I hear news of the epidemic dozens of times a day. If on top of this I'm not able to see you, I may suffocate and die. Like that? Just like that. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I heard some steps coming close. Ow. <laughs> Owie. <laughs> now that you're in a safe space, we can read the rest of the, it. If there's any left. Yeah, there's like a second page. Hold on. Let me pull it up. Jeez. If, if you're watching this video and you're like, wait, 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 like, yeah, oopsie. Where the hell is it? Collectibles? Yeah. yeah. Lover's letter. Uh, yeah. Switch display. There we go. Uh, I'll wait for you to the sign tonight as usual. Don't be late, my love. All right. Um, not only his conscience, but like a um, mental stabilizing factor in a way. Mm. Um, and I think that becomes something of a plot point, I suppose, later on in the show. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's very much, I guess, a bromance in some ways, um, with them. Um, not exactly that, but close enough. Uh, it's, it's just a really, really close friendship. Um, I do believe House would do literally anything for Wilson. Um, he's just gonna give him hell while doing it, pretty much. Mm hmm. As he should, honestly. Ah. Depending on what it is, but. Yeah. They look like big bats. They look like what? Big bats. Oh, yeah, they kind of do. Freaking crazy looking. What is all this? This is like... Well, these crystals are certainly death. What this reminds me? That 
This reminds me of uh, one of the last areas of Code Vein, actually. Mm. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's a good game. I like Code Vein a lot. Yeah. Anime Dark Souls. Anime Souls! They didn't come out with Code Vein 2. What's that? They need to release a Code Vein 2. They do. Yeah. Ooh, I, I that one. was close. I thought you were about to walk off the edge. Nah. Not yet. <laughs> God. I'm not liking these crystals. Yeah, disruption is like curse, by the way. Yeah, I don't, don't like that. It's so if it kills out, you just, you're dead. You're dead, son. Oh, come on. Ugh. These things are gross. Yeah. Uh, where, oh, it's, it's, it's fine. There we go. Freaking decay, man. Yeah. I wasn't expecting freaking status effect central here. It's the wrong side. Good grief. Oh, okay. I guess. Down there. Okay, hang on. Ooh. Alright. Soft foot. This place makes me nervous. Making you a little nervous. Making me a little nervous. Oh, I don't like this at all. Hold on, let me see if I can get past some of this. No. The range of that disruption is really big. Yeah, it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Yep. Wow, they were just, like, far enough apart. To <laughs> yep. This area is rough. Evil. 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 Those enemies hit really hard, too. Why, right, thank you. Thank you for the description of what just happened to me. <laughs> thank you, Liza P. <laughs> okay. What's that? What can I get. This is making me feel like we're approaching like near end game at this point. Well, yeah, absolutely we are. Because we were... We're trying to get to the Alchemist Island, right? Mm. And we had to get... Um, something. I don't remember exactly what it was. Golden Ergo, maybe, is what it was. From the Swamp Monster. And then... That got converted into like a microverse battery or something. A microverse battery? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Outstanding. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't remember what it was actually called, but it was some kind of fancy battery that was going to be used for, I think, some kind of tram or something that runs <laughs> underground to the island. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good throw, by the way. Champ. <laughs> Oh, that was the worst ever. Oh, my God. How did I do it's so? It's not your fault. Oh. Someone put a wall in your way. Yeah. Where? Is... Okay. Yeah. Grief. All right. Eh. Come on up. All right. That'll do. That'll do. Probably should have been freaking using lock on from the beginning. Whatever. Uh. <laughs> That's overrated. That's easy. Eh. Oh. Feels a little bit like a waste of a shot put, but, you know. Yeah. I don't think I have any. Guess this. <sighs> Whatever. Get out of here. Alright. I mean, does the merchant not sell any? Throwable. Pretty sure he does. I'm just trying to get down to where I can get my stuff. Yeah, that's fair. There. Now we retreat this way. Come on. Come on. Nice. 
Not bad. A fable catalyst. Okay, there's a tunnel there. Give me that. Yeah, I think. Ah, Ooh, good, buddy. Ah, ah. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> oh my god. He he does look kind of terrible. He's a claw carcass. Oh, he's got a lot of health. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. That's a puppet. Oh, it's like a mini version of the big green monster you fought. Yeah. Hmm. Circle, circle, dot, dot. Okay. Ow! Excuse me, sir. There we go. Man. All right. It's rough. There's a tunnel there. Yeah. I think that's gonna open that shortcut, though. I th I think it is too. Yeah. That's not good. Oof. That worked out. The way you move on that tiny space. <laughs> A little terrifying, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Gotta make that butt pucker. What's funny is none of this has made me nervous currently because I understand some of this movement. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so this is a shortcut, which means that's probably forward, so let's go investigate the little, the little side area back here. Ooh, ooh, I want that. I want that shiny. Okay, there's a ladder there. All right. Let's see. I don't like that. I don't like the blind corners. Oh, God. Oh, God. Actually, I'm not sure that the other way was the way forward. Really? I don't know. I think this is? Possibly. We'll see. If this room dead ends, we'll be good, but... Okay. Come on. Come on, little crawler guys. Yeah, freaking disruption nice. aura. Come on, now. You're like curse lizards. Curse lizards. Yeah. Yep. I was just about to say... Worse curse lizards, though, like. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, okay. There we go. At least you can break him with a swing. Yeah. Retreat for a second here. This. Ugh. Ugh. This area. Everything is about this is awful. Awful, yeah. I do not. Li I don't like it. All right. Disruption is getting built up. Oh my god, there's so much. <laughs> yeah. Saw blade. Oh. Saw blade? Yeah! <laughs> uh. Saw, dude. Saw, dude! Okay. What's up, dude? So there's this. Which goes. Let's go up to that ladder. Is there a ladder? I didn't see a ladder. You're a ladder. No, there was a ladder <laughs> down from... or down to that treasure chest that we went past. This doesn't go to anything. Completely pointless! Okay, so... That's nothing, which means over here... Ugh. Yeah, this is looking pretty involved here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Dear god. Oh, okay. Oh wait, no, this came around. Full circle. Oh, yep. Uh oh. This came around full circle. Oh. 
Oh, nice. Okay, okay. So, wait. If I go, Good call. If I go down here... Is this... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I think I'm... Tracking here. This is... Yep, so it goes back to the Stargazer. There's your shortcut stairs right there. Ah, uh, okay. There's still... The, yeah, you see there's there's that treasure chest, and then there's a ladder that goes down to mm. it. All the way over here. Just walk up to it. See? Up there? Yeah, I see it. It's like... I want to know how to get to that. It's probably something you'll have to grab later. Yeah, honestly. probably. So let's move on. Star Travel through your memories to the ladder, Dan. Travel through my memories? Yeah. Dive into heart? Yep. Okay. I'll uh, I'll get right on that. And the heart rocks you. What do we got here? They say when crystals appear from the ground, it's a sign of the end days. It's the end. We're all going to die. Everyone's going to die. Okay. <gasps> Everybody pan. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You know, when I think of, like, panicking, uh, the thing I think of first is from Dexter's laboratory. No. Nope. Because anytime Dexter, like, panicked, he'd just throw his arms up into the air and literally just run in circles. Yeah, that sounds, uh, sounds like panicking to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it just, it, it always amused me because it was so over the top, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's a funny show. I didn't get to watch a lot of that show. Ooh. Oh. None of your disruption crap. Get out of here. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Part of, yeah. That yep. made me think when I pick that up, something's going to drop behind me and then I won't be able to hit the crystal and I get disrupted and die. This is what playing a lot of Souls-like games is going to make you think like, you're like, ah, there's some kind of devious trap. That's how they get you, though, because then they won't do it. Yeah. And they'll lull you, lull you to the false sense of security and then they'll drop it on you. That's right. Oh. Ooh, he has a lot of health. <coughs> He's awful. All right, great. Wow. Okay. Oh, good. Good block. Nice. Why? Oh. Yep. Oh. Yep. I knew it. Dang it. Well, at least you got the shortcut open. It's gonna be okay. It's okay. Back through the shortcut. It's okay, Dan. To the meanie head with infinity right, charging attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, everybody. I'm holding him back. He won't be tackling anybody. That's fine. <laughs> 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 Are you just grumble, grumble, anger, anger. Grumble, anger. Oh my god. All right. That was a big spike of disruption there. Sure was. Uh, okay, so. Since we're talking TV shows. TV shows? Or house specifically. Yeah. Are there any other characters? Um, not necessarily like house mm -hmm. per se, but that kind of. I don't know if resonates the right word either. Because hmm. um, I don't I don't think House is like I don't know, would you say you resonate with House or just that you like his character? Because like this those are two different things, right? Depends on the day. Yeah, fair enough. Um, um Yeah, but I mean there's there's a compelling. fair amount of resonation, yeah. Okay. Well I'll leave it at compelling then. You interpret how you want. Is there another character or show that you find that the characters in it hmm. are as compelling as say house or oh that's a good something question of that nature that is a very good question um think for a second star trek is always going to be an easy answer with me um oh, sure 
Um, you know. Although, I, I feel like that requires specificity just because of the variety of Star Wars or Star Trek we've got yeah, over the last couple decades. That's not how I wanted that to work. Um, Jean-Luc Picard. Uh, compelling character. I want to be like him when I grow up. Um, <laughs> I'll be your wrecker, baby. <laughs> yeah, just to be specific, I am talking about the next generation Picard. Um, those of you that have seen all of it know what I'm talking about. Um, there are some Oof. different aspects. Good grief. This guy Man. is the worst. Just really struggling with the timing on that. Yeah. Minimal wind up. Oh. Good grief. Yep. <laughs> wow. Uh, that triple okay, yes. that triple head bash into the ground is like a tailor made move to make me rage. Sure, like yeah. Just infuriating move. <laughs> definitely definitely designed with you in mind. Yep, with me specifically. <laughs> they said Dan's going to play this at some point, and we're going to make one enemy that is just going to make him want to throw the controller through the window. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, to uh, divert the topic a little bit, um, one thing that I found very interesting, because if you play frustrating games, you have probably tossed a controller at least once in your youth. Um, and one thing that I have found with me is that buying an expensive controller, I'm using a Razer Wolverine Ultimate to play this game right now. Um, and it is in very good condition because I do not throw this controller. Um, and I have not thrown a controller in years, actually. Because uh, I bought one that was so expensive it was going to piss me off if I broke it. Um, and, you know, I'm not exactly proud of it. I used to do that. Uh, and it's it's kind of a visceral, like, frustration reaction. And you're just pissed off. You've heard it in these videos. I just kind of breathe through it as much as I can. And I'll rant about it. But at the end of the day, it's not worth it, guys. No. Like, don't break your stuff. Don't punch holes in the wall. Don't hurt yourself. Like, breathe. Take a minute. Take a break if you need to, you know? Like, yeah. these things are meant to be challenging. And as much as I rant yeah, I... about 800 charging <laughs> attacks here, like, we play these games because they're hard in some way. Right. You're here for the challenge, so... And we may disagree with some of the ways these games implement challenge, but that's a disagreement, not a, I'm going to rage and break a things, you know? Like, it's just, sure. don't do that. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I agree. I mean, one of the hardest things I've had to teach myself growing up, and then consequently my children, as they're learning to play games. Ooh, all right. Is it behind me? Oh, there it goes. Oh. Oh, so close. Get him. Get yeah, out big. of here. Yeah. Perfect. And then you get that moment of overcoming, and it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. And killing him, like, opened up the doorways, too. That's handy. Yeah, it sure did. Um, Frank. Frank. But teaching my kids, like, if you're getting worked up about something that you can no longer think clearly about it, it's mm -hmm. time to take a break. Like, either put the game down for a while and go do something else entirely mm -hmm. which is uh, one of the best ways to refresh your brain right oh yeah but even if even if it's just like okay I'm not gonna work on this challenge in this particular game at this point I'm gonna go do this other thing in the game that I also need to get done that's more mind numbing or not as challenging or whatever mm -hmm. it goes a long way because when we get worked up as people this is true for anything, too, not just video games. Any challenge or frustration you're dealing with mm -hmm. or a problem you're trying to solve, the more you work at it, the more mentally exhausted you get at it. Yes. 
and the best thing you can do when you are mentally exhausted trying to solve a problem is to literally do anything else that doesn't require you to think about it. Exactly. Um, sleep is a great option. Finding a good book to read and, and like if the problem is something to do with real life, find a good fictional book to read. Like do something that really takes you out of the environment that you're dealing with. Yep. Um, one thing so, I really like doing is I got a punching bag and if you, and, and that's a really good method of exercise. It gets the aggression out. Um, you can get focused and you can, you know, practice your, your technique. Um, you know, one of my favorite hollow live talents, uh, does boxing in their free time. And it's very, very funny because she's this bubbly person and it's like, yes. And I go do boxing. And it's like, oh my God, you are. You are fit as hell. You're like ripped. <laughs> oh. um, but yeah, I can't recommend it enough to do something like that. Uh, or, you know, if you don't feel like doing that, uh, take a walk. A walk is great. You know, anything yeah. to really give your brain a break from what you're dealing with that's starting mm. to stress you out and starting to make you tilt. Um, yeah, I mean, you and I both ended up on walks the day we did the... Um <laughs> the witch's house oh yeah 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 that was less I tilt mean, and more anxiety on my part i, I don't do very right. well with pure horror <laughs> right but that i mean but the the statement still applies right any kind of dysregulation mm -hmm. which for men often comes out as anger usually yeah <laughs> um, thanks society um yep uh we're enculturated this way. That does not mean it is not our responsibility to handle Correct. it and come up with healthier coping mechanisms. Yes, we got to we got to break the cycle. But yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you for what you taught us. I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, toxic masculinity. <clears throat> yeah. Woohoo! Woo um. But yeah, so uh, talking about taking a walk is why I thought about this. Mm -hmm. So my wife and I went on the walk, and we were talking. I, I was like, oh. Oh, he does not look friendly. He does not. You were saying he kind of looks. <laughs> he kind of looks like like Mister X from like Resident Evil. He kind of does. Was it RE two that has Mister X in it? I'm not sure. Oh, there's another person. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I don't like that. That's that's, that's making me uncomfortable. That's, that's bad times right there. <laughs> Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Um, <clears throat> uh, but what I was gonna say is, is that I learned. Oh, good. Oh boy. Apparently, the the concept of Ooh. going on a stupid walk for your stupid mental health, yeah, is uh, known as a hot girl walk. Hot girl walk. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, yes. <laughs> It's the, um, you know, you can get exercise out of it, but you're not really doing it for the exercise necessarily. You're doing it for the regulation that brings to your, your mental state. Wow, that is... That's not, that's a, that's a rough ambush right there. That is really unfortunate. <sighs> At least I'm right by the stargazer. <laughs> that's true. That guy is, uh, that guy is pretty, pretty, uh, he hits pretty hard. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, he's got a real interesting posture. Hmm, indeed. Maybe you can, like, drag him out mm. and... <laughs> I can piss him off. That's what I'm saying, like, kite him out of there before Mr. Bullets comes flying at you. Mr. Bullets, it's true, though. Oh, yeah! Oh, excellent. Come on. I wonder if he's an alchemist. Oh, ho, ho. He's out of there is that, what he is. An alchemist is what I meant an to say. Alchemist? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I knew he had like oh, no man. health at all. Like yeah. <laughs> that has the same energy as the the old men with the Gatling guns and Bloodborne. <laughs> and like the wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh another one. Hello. Ooh, another one. Ooh. Ooh. That would have been good if it actually hit you. Yeah. Alright, that'll work. Man. 
Do you have to do the flourish to do the heavy attack? Yeah, uh, here's here's the tap heavy attack. Oh, I and see. And then you can combo it. But if you want to do the charged, you got to do that. Gotcha. Yeah. That's why I keep flourishing and then freaking getting nailed in the face. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. That's a straight upgrade. Puts me in slightly heavy, but I can get more capacity. So. Hmm. Let's see here. Hot, um, hot girl so, walks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, um, that's pretty great. She's she's more uh, up with the hip hopping and words. Hip hopping and words. <laughs> yes, I'm an old man, man. What do you want from Whatever, me? Whatever, man. You're the hippest person <laughs> I know. It's <laughs> gonna say something about broken hips or something, but I couldn't figure out a good way to say it. Anyway, um, not sequoiaing back to TV shows. Uh, oh, I have found. Oh no. There's two of them! That's not good. Run away, run yep. away, run away, run away! So, wife and I have been staying up to date with uh, a very popular anime known as My Hero Academia. Oh yeah, I gotta watch that. It... I, I say this... kind of... loosely, mm -hmm. because it's hard to really meet um, the quality that Avatar The Last Airbender brings to the world. <laughs> um, but there is something about the way that my hero has handled character building, the socio-political environments the world is dealing with in a unique way with places of power. Like, it, it, it it's up there with with Avatar Last Airbender for me, as far as like, hmm. if you can, go watch this. And it's a very different type of storytelling, right? Um, How long is that show, My Hero? Uh, we're uh, they're on season seven now, and each season I think is uh, I don't know how many episodes. I could look it up to tell you for sure. It's kind of a long show. It it is a fairly long, but I think this season is the final season. Okay, so. You don't have a uh, Naruto syndrome or Dragon Ball or. Well, I mean, it is a shonen, right? So that it is a longer running show. No, yeah. Nothing matches One Piece's energy. Um, but I, I want to say, <clears throat> I want to say season seven is her last season. I could be wrong about that. Okay. Um, but this the season that we're going through has been very intense and. Ooh, that's the crazy. last few episodes, which for the viewers who are familiar with this show and are watching it with us, we're recording this on like the first week of October. Mm -hmm. So the last couple episodes we've been dealing with have put my wife and I into tears. Oh, man. Just because of how much narratively character building and and uh, resolution and the stuff that's happening. It's just like, wow, that's really intense. Huh. <laughs> Um, it's been really good though. I've really enjoyed it. It still has some of the anime things that happen. Like some anime does things that are slightly questionable. My hero is really good about not having that in general. But there's still some places where we were like, really? I don't. Maybe I just misunderstanding what's happening here. <laughs> it's still. I mean, it's still Japanese anime. Sure, so. sure, yeah. All right. Primer for workshop technicians. Subtitle: Do you want to become a workshop technician? A primer for aspirants. It's the Workshop Technicians for Dummies. Outstanding. Yep. And no other city in the world today has been receiving more attention than Krat, the city of puppets. Back w then, the Almighty V, vi back when the Almighty V visited. Almighty V. <laughs> oh, man. Vanini, I just want to, like, punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it was still just a fishing village. It has undergone a brilliant change in the past 30 years, spurred by Kratz's puppet industry. The puppets made in Kratz's workshops are known for using new technology that is on a different level from their competitors. The workshop puppets are intricate like humans, and they perform their master's orders so naturally that people wonder if they have souls. Many competitors try to replicate the workshop's special mechanical heart, only to fail and prove the outstanding gap between their capabilities. 
the monopoly on the special power stone ergo and the skills to optimize its efficiency, those are what give Kraut's workshop its edge. But the workshop's beginning wasn't always smooth. The workshop history begins with one legendary craftsman, and his records are great manuals for the apprentices. The legendary craftsman G, whom every technician knows about. On the next page, we'll learn about his achievements. Omitted. Aha. Uh -huh. G, you say? Yeah, I know. Well, we all know who V is. Mm. Let's let's be honest. Yep. The Almighty V. <laughs> I, he probably wrote it himself. You know. Probably, like, yeah. Oh, this is. Did we make it? Well, that's not terrifying at all. There's an item down there too, because of course there's an item down yeah. there. Yeah. Oh. Uh, hey guys. What up, man? Oh. 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 Yep. <laughs> okay. There's that big guy. Yeah. I'm just looking here. There's the ladder. Okay, cool. So that's up there. Fascinating. So we're gonna have to, like, drop down to it. Well, yeah, so you can drop down, get that item, right? And then take the ladder back up after you get your chest and everything. Oh, yeah, that's true. And then come back up and come back around to get to these. Okay. So I think I think that's the that's the ticket there. Oh. Oh, whoops. There you go. Explodey guy. <laughs> I gotta explode. I'm a little explodey guy. Oh, he's just, he's just a little guy. He's just a little explodey guy. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Then you can hop down there. Here, yeah. Go, go get your item. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. I need all the items. Ooh, supply box. Cool. Upward. Moon, Moonstone of the Covenant. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, now we go around this way. This place is a mess. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh. Okay. Okay. This looks like it. Yeah, let's... Where does this go? Hmm. Stargazer. Oh, okay, great. Shortcut. Yep, shortcut unlocked. I like that. Just down this little alley here. Alright. Where is this gonna take us? Hmm. Okay, so each of the seasons has had roughly 25 episodes. Season 1, I think, only had 22. Mm hmm. And season six had twenty six. Okay. Um, so you know, it, right now it's about one hundred and fifty episodes. By the time it's done, probably one hundred seventy five ish, uh, which is still not as large as say Bleach or Naruto for sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and again, like I said, nothing compares to One Piece <laughs> with its. I think we're at eleven 1, hundred episodes now. Oh hey. Well, they look delightful. Oh, boy. Is that... Oh. Walker of Illusions. Oh, that's just their whole whole brain sticking... Ow! Oh. Ow! 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 Oh, my gosh. Alright. That might be one of the most brutal throws I've seen <laughs> in this game. Excuse me. Wow. I almost got Jeez. it. Jeez. What an interesting boss. Okay. All right then. Yeah, that's every move is like a really long combo, but I'm actually not mad because of the way deflecting works in this game. I think if I can get used to that combo, 
That's not going to be too bad. Sure. That's a well, tough enemy, that's for sure. Yeah, once we get this uh, fight done, or if you want to do it before, we got that box right, which means we can give that to Paladina. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, up to you. But it looks like the box will have another cryptic vessel, which means we got some treasure hunting to do. Ooh, cool, okay. Yeah, let's um let's see if we can do something about this real quick. I wish there was yeah. a okay, this this isn't the area boss, it's like a mini boss or something. Yeah. Ooh, but but the uh, walker will definitely drop something you'll want. Of course. Wow. Just just right to it, huh? Uh-huh. Ooh. Oh, you can break your blade. Yes. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Back up. You know, this moveset doesn't actually seem that bad. Ooh, that was close. Get away from me! <laughs> oh, that's fast. Oh. Damn, damn, he's a man. If he can't do it, no one can. Ooh. Oh, there he is. That's tough, man. Oh. is rough yeah like so from, from a watcher perspective obviously i'm not reacting to it it seems like the moveset isn't complex but it is somewhat swift and so reactions are hard to time yep it's purposely made that way right i've seen movesets like this before it's just a matter of reading it very very well right it's just very hard to get that way quickly get away from me can you go up the ladder i hope not no good okay See ya. great Yeah, that move in particular looks rough. Oof. <laughs> Stop it! <Wow. laughs> oh, good, good block. Nice. don't understand why it is so hard to block those seemingly slow like there's something really deceptive about those slow lilting slashes oh that would have been the throw that's good block i think it honestly i think the length of the blade is what partially makes it so deceptive well Every slash is a different speed. 
and then that mm. is always a finisher, so you're forced to try to e either dodge or perfect it. And that's why I keep going to dodge, because I see my health. Right. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Little break. Sip some tea. Don't make, make a sandwich. Make a sandwich, yeah. Oh, excellent. Man. That is brutal. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Dang. Just enough. It's it's not Elden Ring delay where they wind up for an hour and a half until you press the dodge button and then they slam you into the ground. But right. It is definitely like, ah, this has random delay on the moveset, and so it's really... It's a really unsteady rhythm to it. Um, you know, if you played Legend of Dragoon, it's sort of the... Um, I'll get it, but it's the, uh, what's... Omni Sweep? The Omni Sweep uh, edition? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that, where it's a really weird rhythm, but you can get it. Oh, that's not good. Can I break both? You can, so you can break both the dagger and the the larger like cleaver machete style weapon. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Ooh. This uh, this image is very strange. It gives me some winter lantern vibes. Oh yeah, I can see that. Not quite as uh, instantly deadly as those are, but still very, very crisp movements required. Oh, that that isn't oh, cool. No. no. <laughs> Listen, this is hard enough as it is. All right, cool. Ooh. Disruption. That is okay, not what so you want to see. Yeah. Oh, yep, yep. Oh. Damn. Well, now we know why they call her the Walker of Illusions. Yep. That was good. Yep. It's hard to break. Oof. Oh, we got this. Yeah, get her. Oh, so close. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you got Perfect. her. Perfect. Nice job. Okay, so Winter Lanterns mixed with Orphan of Kos. Yeah. Yeah, it's got that screaming nonsense going on. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's weird looking. Neither of, again, Orphan of Cost is like uh, my trigger <laughs> the boss. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so I, I don't think it was quite to that level, but some of the movements, the the needing to stay on like one side seemed to help you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the circling um, made some of the attacks with when kind of sitting in front of it was not helping me. So. Right. So excellent job. Well done. Thank you. Uh, applause all around. We do not want to take the elevator yet. Okay. I'm going to read this book. Sure. 
Victor could not be completed. May she become the owner of the truly complete elixir. Yep. All right, so that elevator goes somewhere, clearly. Yeah, the elevator goes on to the next area, but we want to possibly take care of some of this housekeeping stuff before we move on. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, but also, Dark Moon Moonstone of the Covenant. Yeah. Yeah, that was... um. Was one of these, right? Yeah. Oh, yep, yep, okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's just what she dropped. Good, good item. Yeah, it is a good item. <laughs> the note here from the the guy was like, sometimes this fight is Ornstein and Smo, and sometimes it's Godsen Duo. I recommend bringing the illusion down with throwables so you can focus on the files. Yeah, that's fair. I could see it. That was a. That was a good fight. Like it was, it was crazy, and it was kind of frustrating me. But it's that was that was a solid fight. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna head back to the hotel. Yeah. Do the thing here. Ooh. That fight was unsettling too. Like that, I, th it I was. think that's part of why I was like. Off to, I had to really. I hit that moment of focus, and then I didn't even hear the music. And then once it was done, I was like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, I yeah." It's, we I find myself struggling when we get into these big fights like this because, like, there's a part of me that wants to shut up so that you can focus, <laughs> but I also don't want to leave our viewers in the dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they're just listening, yeah. And so I'm constantly torn, and so they're probably just like, "What happened? Why is everybody so quiet?" <laughs> yeah. It's because I'm 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 invested in the fight. It's what's happening. Yeah, we're focused on the fight. <laughs> the house of Anini, even. Let's see. Oh no! Wait, the strong box we got to give to to him, right? The box we got. Uh, yeah. No matter what fate serving Harkon. There you go. This is a supply box. Yes. Officially approved by the city of Krat. I shall open it. And there should be like a rusty cryptic vessel shop. in there, I think. Ooh. Many thanks, good sir. Excellent. No matter what serving her can purchase. Yeah, urgent repair tool. Ooh, full moon moonstones. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Ooh, a quartz. Let's make sure we get okay, there's the cryptic vessel. A legion, yep, caliber. legion caliber. Excellent. Outstanding. Yep. All worth getting. Yeah. These, this is... I'm going to blow some... <laughs> okay. So... Full Moonstone of the Covenant. Oh, man. That's awesome. Yep. This probably means we can get a weapon up to plus five because I think it's one and then two. We don't have the ergo to do it, but I will, yeah. I will be... Actually, let's grab one of them. And then let's go take a look. What do you think? Upgrade the scythe or the katana? Uh, well, you've been uh, using the katana a little bit I more. And honestly, if you're going to continue to use it for your boss yeah. rush stuff, then I would do that first. Gallery. Okay. Though it's just a gallery of ghosts now. With no one claiming ownership, I suppose it's yours. But take good care of it. This weapon carries a little bit of my heritage. I know my way around it. Fascinating. I don't know what she was talking about because I didn't expect that, but yeah, she was talking about the two dragon sword. Oh, all right, cool. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade this one. And yeah, it requires two to plus five it. Okay. Oh man, that's beautiful. Yeah, so I'll get some more ergo probably between episodes, and I'll probably plus five this one. I could plus four this one and wait for another one, but I think having a plus five weapon is going to be pretty good. Yeah, I agree. So. Uh, and we got to turn in the vessel, I think. Yeah, I talked to... To him, right? I always welcome... Yeah, yeah, decipher the cryptic vessel. Oh, thank Lorenzini you Linguini Vanini. That's right. I was going a bit stir-crazy, as the poets say, cooped up in the hotel. Why don't I read the contents? Oh, I'm sick and tired of reading conversations between society's elite. <laughs> Hide these. What society's Kill elite that. is left? Steal those. Indeed. It's all the same. And the people who want them deciphered act as if it's the end of the world if they can't read them immediately. <laughs> Tiresome. I am a simple, albeit brilliant man. <laughs> Solving the code is what makes me happy. 
And with a friend at my side, what more is there to wish for? <laughs> Perhaps sometimes I share too much. <laughs> Thank you for listening. A little extra for you in there, my friend. Thanks. Decryption. Mm. Quarters. Find the cave blocked off by the metal bars in the barren swamp. There's a reward at the end of the new road. Intriguing. Oh, we know where that is, actually. Yeah. It's uh, where... What's his name? It's not Maduro. It's the hunter yeah. guy. Yeah. There's a place called Hermit's Cave. An old man who went crazy after losing his family locked himself up there to pray. It's strange in this age to hear about such medieval-sounding story in Crod, but one thing's clear. It's a good place to hide treasure. Nice. Let's forget about the crazy old man, hide the stolen goods, and take them back out once it quiets down. Who in the right mind would imagine there's treasure deep in a cave in the barren swamp? Once this panic is over, we'll be rich with the things we squirreled away. That kid's clothes seem like good quality, too. Maybe the wolf girl can fix them up. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay. Anything else? Oh, yeah, there's some ergo fragments. Sure. We'll use these. Yep. Uh, I guess we can go over there and follow the road, right? Uh, yeah. So we have some decisions to make, right? Because... Mm -hmm. We are a little past time now, so we can do this oh, yeah. next time, or we can try to do this now and then move on to the next thing afterward. On um, the next episode, it's up to you. Okay, well, let me go get some gold coins, and yeah, I, I think we can open the episode with just going to do that deciphered vessel. All right, yep, we'll get some good treasure from it. We'll get some quartz, obviously, some more apparel. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do some spending of, of some quartz here, so... Looks like we'll get another weapon along the way, too, so... Ooh, that's a whole thing. Okay, cool. Yeah. Gonna have some good stuff. Yes, indeed. Alright, well, in the meantime, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Uh, we hope you had a good time. I know we did. It was lots of fun. Uh, if you are tired of the topic of TV shows... You are more than welcome to make a suggestion of topics you would like to hear us discuss, game-wise or other, in the comments below. So, you know, yeah. kind of up to you at that point. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll just talk about whatever suits our fancy or comes to mind. Yeah, I mean, there, this game has some pretty interesting lore and story developments going on. Um, and I think we've discussed a lot of it, but a lot of this stuff is pretty... In this game, it's interesting how much of it comes from books we pick up. Um, or pamphlets or, you know, whatever, posters, I don't know. Uh, right. But, yeah, I mean, there's item descriptions in Souls games as well, but it's a little bit less explicit, a little more uh, the action in the game tells most of the story, that kind of thing. So we, we just right. kind of talk about other topics sometimes. But, you know, we try to keep it at least somewhat related. You know, the everybody lies thing, this is lies of P. <laughs> so, you know, that's right. related, right? Kind of. <laughs> right. Well, okay, and in, in our defense, when bigger moments narratively come up that yeah require further uh, <laughs> postulating we will of course go over those yep yep um <clears throat> so don't worry we'll be back into the neck deep of it i'm sure soon enough oh yeah for sure um okay. but yeah so like comment subscribe share with a friend please do all those things it really helps us mm -hmm. um and check out the material too if you are all caught up with our current running stuff and you don't want to wait because you just love us so much first of all thank you uh second of all we have plenty of other playlists that are completely finished games for you to check out from our main series things like skies of arcadia and xenogears which if you want a good uh playthrough of an older game that has rich narrative and thought-provoking moments and a lot of austin's confusion that's the game to watch mm -hmm. um and then, of course, we have more chill stuff like our Tea Time Tuesday series and, of course, our Salt and Sanctuary playthroughs on Saturday. So lots of stuff to check out. Uh, but more than anything, we're just grateful to have you uh, with us today. Thank you for letting us be a part of your day and you're taking up some of your time as you watch. And we do hope you have an awesome day. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. See you next time, everybody. Bye-bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Do 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 do! Thanks for watching!